So last time we managed to get our likes so that it was appearing to work correctly. So we click on a photo and we now see that it's highlighted because it's liked by the user that's currently logged in. And if I double click it, the light goes away and the heart doesn't highlight. If I double click again, it then highlights and adds the like. But what I want to know now is if, it, if it's going to work with multiple users liking the same photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to this other user right here, which his name is Mitchell.Tavian and I'm gonna add a, another like to that photo. So I'm gonna click on likes, just enter a random string to mimic what the ID would be, and then I'm gonna type the user ID, and then just paste his user ID here in the value, hit add, and now that photo should have two likes. So if I go back to here and go back to the photo, it should say, okay, yeah, it's liked by Mitch and Mitchell.Tabian. Okay, that's great, that looks like it's working, but what happens if I try to unhighlight this like now? So it did actually take the like away, but look, now that image isn't working correctly. And if I go back, go back to the photo, that's also not right because the current user doesn't like that and just Mitchell.Tabian likes that. So there's a problem there. So let's go to Android Studio. And what's actually happening here is inside of the get likes string method, uh, inside here where we check to see if the current user likes the photo, what's happening is it's looking for the username Mitch, right? Because the current username is logged in as Mitch. So it's looking for Mitch. But meanwhile, there's another user that's called Mitchell.Tavian. So right here, what it's looking for is this string right here, Mitch. So it is, it's actually finding it also in this other username here. So the logic is flawed, basically. So what we can do to fix this is right here, I'm just gonna add plus and do, and just add the comma. Oh, whoops, wrong spot inside that bracket. So now what it's gonna look for is this entire string with the comma. So it's not gonna find it in this other username here because it doesn't have that comma next to it. So now let's try and run that and see if that fixes our issue. Okay, and let's get uh, Firebase open here and go to the profile. And so what, when, what we expect is when we open this photo, it's not gonna highlight the heart because the username with the username Mitch doesn't like it. And oh, I actually see another issue up here. It looks like the universal Oh, never mind. That's not supposed to show up there. So we click on a photo, and that's what we expect because the user Mitch doesn't like it, so it's not highlighting. So let's click it now. And you can see a like gets added. Mitch gets added to the list. Now let's remove it. And Mitch gets removed and also removed from there. So now it looks like it's working exactly as we want it to. So now, since this video is still kind of short, what I want to do is actually get the caption and display it down here. So we already have that because we have the photo. We get the photo from the bundle right here. And inside the photo, there's also the caption. So we're just gonna go into our setup widgets method. So let's scroll down to setup widgets right here. And I'm just gonna go below where it says M likes. I'm gonna go caption, set text, and we just go photo, M photo, dot get caption. And that will set the caption to the photo down here. And now, since the video still isn't very long, what I want to do is start working on the comment stuff. So when basically when we click on this link down here where it says view all three comments, I want it to open up a new fragment where it's going to be a comments thread, basically, just like Instagram does. So, so if I clicked on this link, it would take me to a brand new thread just showing all the comments for this particular photo. So let's go and we can create a new class. Actually, we'll create the layout first. So we'll just go to res layout, right click layout, and go to new layout resource file. And we'll just go fragment view comments. And I'm not going to put anything in it quite yet. Whereas first I actually want to make the fragment class or the view comments class. So go into utils, right click, go to new. Actually, we're just going to copy it. Let's go down to view post fragment. I'm just going to hit control C on that, post it in utils. And this is going to be view comments fragment. And we're going to delete a whole bunch of stuff from here. So I'm going to close the project pane. And of course, change the log to say view comments fragment. I'm going to get rid of the bundle. We can, I'm just going to get rid of everything. We're going to start from basically empty. But I just wanted to not have to type out the on create and all that stuff. That's why I created this. So then highlight everything all the way down to the final bracket. Uh-oh. I can just delete that and add it again. And there we go. So now we have our new view comments fragment and then we need to change our layout to fragment view comments. And now we can get started building that layout. So let's go back to our fragment view comments layout. 
And like usual, we're gonna start with a relative layout at the top and we can get rid of this orientation. And we're gonna do, we're gonna structure this very similar to the way we always do. We're gonna have sort of uh, three relative layouts, one for the top, one for the middle, and then one for the bottom, which is gonna be actually where you type in the comment. It might actually be useful to open up Instagram just so you can take a look and we can really see what we're trying to build here. So let's open up Instagram here. And there's no comments. I gotta find just a random one. Let's just click one, go to comments. And so this is essentially what we're trying to build here. There's gonna be a bottom section where you can enter a comment and there's a little check mark, and then just a huge comments thread where it will display all the comments for that post. And then at the very top, the very first comment is actually the caption itself. And that's it. So with match parent and then wrap content for the height. And we're going to give this one an ID of rel layout one. And that's going to be where our toolbar goes. And this is going to be the next one, which will be match parent and match parent. And this will be rel layout two. And we can do below rel layout one. And we can do a margin on the bottom of 50 dp because that's going to be the, the height of our toolbar that's going to sit at the bottom. And inside of this relative layout, we're gonna be putting the actual thread itself. So I'm gonna create a, another separate layout for that. And now at the bottom here, we will uh, put that little section for the comments. So ID, rel layout three for, for actually entering the comments. And I go align parent bottom to true. And the background, we're gonna have a gray border on the top that's what Instagram does and that should be good now inside here we're gonna put first of all an edit text field which will be match parent and wrap content and let's do some padding just a small amount of padding and background I want at null because I don't want it to do any suggestions and margin right just do 50 dp and margin left just a small one of 5 dp and center center vertical true and let's see hint just go add a comment dot 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 and text size 14 sp id will just be comment so now below that one we're going to do an image view and just do 40 dp by 40 dp and center that vertically true again just like the edit text field and I can't remember if I have uploaded a check mark I have okay so we're gonna use that check mark icon and we're gonna give it an ID of image view post comment and then align parent right to true okay so let's take a look and that's gonna be probably pretty good can't really see with this little preview so that's pretty much what we want. We just want a little add comment section and then a check mark down there. So that's, I think that should be pretty good to what we want. We could make it a little bigger, like we could do uh, 60 dp. So change the height for it to 60 dp and then just change the margin bottom there to 60 dp just to make that a little bigger. But that's, that's generally what we want there. So that's gonna be it for this video. So in the next one, we'll start building the layout for the list adapter items for the comments themselves and also the toolbar for this layout. So I'll see you guys in that next video.